What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in LESS. L-E-S-S. -S. Now, my guess is that if you're watching this video, then you probably heard of LESS before or maybe read a few things online and you're like, okay, apparently this is something that's supposed to make writing CSS a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. But I'm not sure exactly what it is or why it's useful at all. Well, I'll give you guys like the two second introduction and um, talk to you guys about a couple features and I don't want to bet on this too long because I actually want to get into actually typing and showing you guys a bunch of examples but one of the really cool features about less is this say that you're using this color like I don't know maybe a red color all across your website in every CSS file now if your boss comes in one day and he's like Bucky well your name wouldn't be Bucky but <laughs> he would say to me he's like Bucky you need to change this red color to blue well I would have to go through my entire file which could be thousands of you know lines long find all the instances of red and change it to blue 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 it's gonna take forever well with less one of the things that you can do is make variables or in other words placeholders so you can change it in one location and it updates your entire file automatically it's awesome and another thing that is useful and I actually had this problem recently is that say in your CSS files you had a bunch of images I don't know maybe for like backgrounds or icons whatever now if you ever move that directory to let's say I don't know like inside another directory well then you would have to go through your CSS file and for the file path you would have to give it a new updated location that's gonna take forever too well with less it takes care of that problem as we're gonna see so you're like alright you sold me on it how do I you know start typing less download it setting it up getting it ready well the first thing that you need to do is you need to install node.js this is gonna allow you to easily install download and install less and I'm not gonna show you how to um, download and install node in this tutorial because I already filmed it in my node.js tutorial so if you don't know or if you want to be uh, walk through that then just go ahead over to my node.js tutorial the first video and watch that and then come back here I mean it's pretty easy you just click this big green button then pre press next a whole bunch of times but if you guys you know wanna see me doing it and make sure you don't mess anything up then go watch that video now once you have node.js installed on your computer this is what you do open up the command line and if you go to your start menu and press CMD then it's gonna open up on Windows I'm guessing you guys know how to open this up already and from here I'll minimize this so not to distract you guys type this npm install minus G less now whenever we download a node we got this thing called an npm tool which is node package manager it's pretty much a fancy tool that lets us download and install stuff from the internet really easily that's all it is so what we're saying is hey node install less so we can use it on our computer now this minus G right here this is saying install it in global mode in other words we want to be able to use this less technology anywhere on our computer and I'm not gonna press enter but um, you guys press enter I already have it installed so you know I don't want to reinstall it and mess everything up but essentially the reason we want to install it globally is because if we don't then we're gonna to have to install it install it in each individual project that we make and it's kind of a pain in the butt so just do it that way it's the easiest way so now we should have node.js unless installed on our computer now here's the thing less is a very specific syntax in browsers they don't understand less the code I'm gonna be typing browsers don't understand it so they're like um then what's the point of these videos well in order to use less what you need to do is you actually need to translate it in to CSS because browsers only understand CSS so essentially what we're gonna be doing is writing less and translating it into CSS and then our browsers are going to be using that sounds confusing but trust me it's not and just to give you guys a real quick example of this if you go to this winless.org online less compiler this is just um, an online tool that lets you easily see what's going on behind the scenes 
So basically we're going to be writing syntax like this and it looks confusing right now but trust me you guys are going to see how awesome this really is and this is what we're going to be writing and behind the scenes the tool that we're going to be setting up is going to be taking this code and translating it into standard CSS. So this is all CSS that you're familiar with. That's what your browser is going to see and this is what we're going to be writing. All right, simple enough. So I need a compiler or a translator tool to convert less code that we write into CSS. Where do I get one? Well, there's actually a bunch of different ones online and depending on your operating system, whether you have Windows or Mac or Linux, then you want to download one specific and you know, that's actually compatible with your system. And the one I'm going to be using in my tutorial is actually built right in to uh, JetBrains or IntelliJ, whatever IDE you're using. So instead of talking to you guys how to install them all, go ahead to the Less website and they're called compilers, technically not translators. So search for a best, like the best Less compiler for Mac or best Less compiler for Windows and download whatever one you want to use. But essentially they're all the same. They're all going to translate Less code to CSS. So once you have it downloaded and installed, whatever one you want then you're ready to move on to the next video and in the next video I am going to be showing you guys how to set it up if you're using a JetBrains IDE like me and if you guys aren't using this IDE then you can just skip to the third video and we'll start actually getting into the less syntax sounds awesome see you then